गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल एडवोकेट अमित कुमार गुप्ता इन माई सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेज द केस विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज प्रिंसिपल कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स वर्सेज विप्रो लिमिटेड दिस केस हैज बिन रिपोर्टेड इन फोर फोर्टी सिक्स आई टी आर एट पेज नंबर वन द मैटर हैज बिन डिसाइडेड बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज इलेवेंथ जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू फ्रेंड्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस द एस एस सी क्लेम इट्स ओरिजिनल इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न अंडर सेक्शन वन थर्टी नाइन सब सेक्शन वन द एग्जामेशन ऑफ सेक्शन टेन बी इन दैट ईयर द एस एस सी वॉज इंकरिंग ए ह्यूज लॉसेज आफ्टर फाइलिंग द इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न द एस एस सी रियलाइज दैट देर इज नो बेनिफिट ऑफ क्लेमिंग सेक्शन टेन बी एग्जामेशन सो द एस एस सी रिवाइज इट्स इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न एंड विड्रॉ its income tax exemption under section 10b and claimed the losses and said that i want to carry forward this losses but the income tax officer said that you cannot uh, claim the losses by revising your return because if you want to claim the losses then you have to file your losses into the original return and that too before the due date although the assessor has filed its original return within the due time but by revising the return you cannot extend your period of filing the return of losses because the return of losses is to be filed on due time so in this particular case first of all the supreme court said that an assessor claiming exemption has to strictly and literally comply with the exemption provisions why the court said this, uh, this thing there is a section section 10b sub section 8 which says that if the assessee do not want to claim section 10b exemption during the uh, during a particular year then the assessee has to give a declaration to the assessing officer before filing a income tax return under section 139 sub section 1 that it does not want to claim exemption under section 10b but the assessee said that this is a procedural requirement and the assessee can file this declaration at, at the time of assessment proceedings also so on this point the supreme court said that this is not a procedural requirement this is the requirement of a substantive law and that is section 10b sub section 8 if you do not want to claim exemption then you have to give this declaration before filing income tax return under section 139 sub section 1 the court said that the revised return replaces the return under section 139 sub section 1 it do not allow the assessee to extend the period which is there to file the return of loss because the return of loss is to be filed on the due uh, due date so the court said that it cannot transform the original return into a return of loss and that is the valid point also so in this particular case the assessee was saying that i can file this declaration at the time of the assessment also but the court said that this is not a procedural requirement and you cannot apply those cases for the chapter 3 exemptions also the court categorically said that there is a difference between the chapter 6a deductions and chapter 3 you cannot apply the cases of uh, chapter 6a deductions to the chapter third exemptions friends in this case the court also laid down some uh, very good point regarding the revised return the court said that the revised return can be filed where there is a omission or a wrong statement when there is some omission on the part of the assessee or assessee has by mistake given some wrong statement then the assessee can revise its return for example the assessee has not uh, given any details of the foreign assets into the return but if the assessee feels that uh, it has missed uh, some information then the assessee can revise it but the court said that you cannot revise the return for withdrawing any exemption and then subsequently claiming the loss into your return this will be out of the law so 
whenever we are filing our uh, revised return we should know the basic concepts of the uh, revised return the revised return cannot change the uh, focal point of the our original return and you can uh, and uh, revised return cannot put you in a position to claim the losses which you have not claimed into the original return friends i hope that i am uh, been able to make you understand the concept that what you can do uh, through the revised return or what you cannot uh, do through the revised return uh, you should read the full judgment this is a very beautifully uh, written judgment uh, by our uh, supreme court and one must read the full judgment once again i am repeating the name of the judgment the uh, case is principal commissioner of income tax versus wipro limited thank you friends